Hey y'all, so I am back with another tutorial. Um, the purpose of this tutorial um, is going to be showing you um, how I make um, my version of a DIY um, aloe vera with aloe vera butter. Um, I got the idea from a young lady's name that I follow. Um, I'm subscribed to her channel on YouTube. Her name is Ro, and excuse me for um, not knowing your name all the way, well, your, your name on your YouTube page all the way, but I know it starts with Ro. Um, so I followed, her, like I said, I'm subscribed to her channel, and I saw a video, I mean, excuse me for the background noise, my son is in class, and my daughter is cleaning up her room, so if y'all hear anything, it's just background noise, ignore it. Um, but yeah, I saw her video, um, because I was looking for other ways to, um, Caleb, pay attention to your work and not the cat, um, looking at other ways and other things that I could use at home, um, to use in my hair as well as my daughter's hair. And I mean, it's quarantine time still. I mean, so why not look up other ideas and other recipes, you know, to promote our hair growth and uh, promote more better health for our hair. Okay, so as I said, this is an aloe, with aloe butter. Okay, so I'm using some of the ingredients that she used in her video, but I did omit a couple of them. Um, I she In her video, she used apricot oil. Unfortunately, at this time, I don't have any apricot oil, so I'm omitting that with some um, Nile oil. Um, you can find this oil at your local beauty store. It's by a company called Ashe, and this has jojoba, jojoba oil in it and it promotes moisture, stops breakage, um, it helps with grooming and detangling, and it's also good as a hot oil treatment, which I have used before, and I've been using this oil for a very long time, and it does what it says it's going to do in terms of promoting growth. okay? I have coconut oil, and I'm gonna use that last little bit of coconut oil in this video. I have a mason jar, because I'm gonna put the product in a mason jar. Um, in the video, she used extra dark Jamaican black cast oil. I just have regular. Um, Jamaican black cast oil by Sunny Isle. That's my favorite brand to use for our Jamaican black cast oil. And I also have some, um, she used peppermint oil. I didn't have peppermint oil, but I did have on hand some tea tree oil. So I'm going to use, and this is 100% tea tree oil, and it's by the Coco Care brand. So I will be using that. And I also have some african shea butter and i got this actually my mom got this for me um online off of amazon for this size container it was about five bucks so and um you'll also need a tablespoon a bowl you'll need a pot with boiling water and the reason why i say that is because we're going to use the boiling the boiling water in that pot and we're going to place our bowl over top of it to act as a i mean a bowl over top of the egg to act as a double boiler because when you're melting these oils you do not want to microwave your oil because you're pretty much you, you're wrecking your oil when you're throwing them in the microwave so you do not want to microwave them we have a strainer I have my little handy dandy blender that y'all have seen in my video before, my little Hamilton Beach um, blender I got from Walmart, $10 y'all. And I also have the last ingredient, which is voila. It's not going to be aloe vera with butter without the aloe, okay? And you also need a knife, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started i'm going to start um mixing things up um if you guys seen my video before on how i make my um diy aloe vera water uh, for your hair that'll also show you how i cut up the aloe vera leaf itself so i'm just going to go ahead and do that as well and of course y'all y'all know i got my little handy dandy orange plate that i use on my little pink one that's even one of the other that i'm gonna use let me adjust the camera so y'all can see what i'm doing again for those of y'all who haven't seen the little diy video look at my gut y'all Look at my gut, but do I care? Nope, sure don't. Okay, so we're going to start with cutting off our end piece. And actually, some of this aloe, I'm actually going to, I might leave it whole. We just want to toss that piece. Just that root piece, we want to toss that. Okay. We'll cut this up. Okay. Throw that there. 
We want to cut off the spiky sides again, y'all. As y'all can see, we want to cut that off and we want to remove this part too. Or in this case, ooh, or in this case, we can just um, scoop it out the middle. Once we cut it in half, which would be a lot better. go ahead and while I'm as I'm cutting this up I'm gonna go ahead take my matter of fact I'm gonna get an additional spoon maybe a little teaspoon I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna scoop all the gel inside of the blender the little blender cup and bring this over here Okay, now with this, um, because we're making a butter, when we go to blend this up, we will not be adding in any additional water because this is going to be a whipped butter. So we, it's a butter, so we want it to be thick and nice and, you know, yeah, we want it to be thick. I couldn't think of another word, y'all, but it's okay. But we want all that gel. That's the goodness. Okay. Next piece, cut the spikes. This one is extra gooey, which is a good thing. So you got that gel you're done with that. We got about that much in there. So I'm gonna actually sit this on top of the blender. We're not ready for it yet, so we're gonna let that sit for one second. We're gonna get rid of this trash. We're going to, as y'all can see, I'm gonna put this back on there. We got our pot nice and hot. Alright. Ready to start melting some stuff. So now we have our bowl. Something's in there. Got our bowl nice and ready. Um gonna take our spoon and we're gonna start off with our shea butter and the reason i'm going to start off with this is because this one definitely needs to get melted down it's one of the hardest butters that we have whereas though we're going to have to melt down the coconut oil as well but the coconut oil is a little softer than the uh shea butter itself so we're going to get about two well, actually, this is going to be a nice size jaw. I want to at least fill that jaw up halfway. So I'm going to do a couple tablespoons of this. That was two so far. They big tablespoons, as y'all can see. So that's about three. I might end up just using this whole container. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. On toss that because that's trash now. Now I'm gonna take some of the Ache oil. Y'all, when I say this oil smells so good. It smells so good. And I'm just adding, I'm not even measuring this, I'm just adding it in. Cause that's just what I did. I'm gonna rub this little excess I had on my hand, right on my hand. Now I'm gonna take, like I said, the rest of this, um, the rest of this, coconut oil because I strictly use it for my hair. It is a yeah, I gotta scoop that up. Use the last little bit of this coconut oil on that I had in there, which was definitely about two tablespoons. Um, she has her measurements in her description box. So I'm like I said, I'm using the bulk of the ingredients that she has. Now I'm going in with the Sunny Isles Jamaican Black Castle and I'm gonna only use um about three tablespoons of this so this one i am going to measure because i ain't got a lot and i need it for other stuff okay so that's one two and three all right Ooh, got some on the excess on the side rub it in my head now i'm going to go on with my tea tree oil 
Okay, here we go. Y'all, teacher oil smells so good. Y'all say use a couple drops. I'm gonna just use the rest of that because there wasn't much of that left. Okay, so now I have all of my butters. I have my oils and all of that mixed in. So now I'm gonna place it over top of this double boiler which I just showed you guys right here. I'm gonna place it over top of there and start melting it down. So give me a few seconds and then I can show you guys um, how it looks after it's melted down. Cause like I said, we don't wanna use a microwave for this. It is melting really good. So let's put this back on here. Turn this camera back around so you guys can see what is going on. Okay, so like I said, got the rest of the oil. I'm gonna pour it right in into my container. All that goodness is about to be in our hair. Okay, looks like that last little bit. There's our oil, y'all. Got one little piece that still ain't mixed up good. I mean, melt down good, but it's all right. So now I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put a lid on it and pop it in the refrigerator for a while so it can harden up and solidify. Once this solidifies, then we're gonna go ahead and blend up our aloe vera gel. Once we blend that up, we're gonna pour that in here, get our blender and whip it up, place it in here, and then we done. So we'll be back in the All right, y'all, so we back. So now we're about to go ahead, we're gonna take our um, aloe vera gel, we're gonna go ahead and blend it up, strain it out, and then we're gonna add it to this. I already took the oil out of the fridge, and let me feel it. It's still a little soft, which is fine because I ain't wanted to get too hard because it's supposed to be a butter. We wanted it to solidify and it did. Y'all, this stuff smells so bomb. As y'all can see, it smells bomb. I did a good job. I'm proud of myself. Kudos, pat on the back for me. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this up. It's already in the blender. Blend it up real good for this. y'all can smell this y'all this stuff smells so good all right so now i'm gonna take this off of here okay i'm go ahead and take this which is our aloe vera gel only that already sliced up pour it in there i'm just gonna simply add it into that i want y'all to see what i'm doing all right Mmm, smells really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my hand mixer. And I'm going to just go ahead and turn on the lowest speed. And just mix it up.
y'all so it started thick and I'm gonna turn this off real quick so y'all can see how it was looking so far. It's looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna continue to uh whip it because it's still thick. So matter of fact, I'm gonna take a spoon. Excuse me, one in my way. I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna go ahead and start getting all this together. I just wanna see the texture of it real quick. Uh -huh. Let's go ahead. Turn it back. bag off for a second because I want y'all to see how this is getting blended up. Okay. Alright. See that y'all? How it's coming out. Texture of it. Let's hit my hand. This is he. Look at that. Now that's what's up. I look how it melts real easily, too, when you rub it in. That's how you know it's going to work so good in your hair because it melts in so good. So I'm going to sit this to the side and I'm going to go ahead and scrape what I can get in the jaw and then everything else that I can get up off of here will be going in there. Y'all, this smells so freaking good. Put it right in my jaw. And I wish I had a smaller jaw. Kayla, be quiet. Kayla, be quiet. Told you. You taking a nap, you want time out. one and we still got a little bit left in the bowl. And I'm telling you, I'm getting every bit of this up out of here.
this off the bowls. And then out the bowl. Last little bit out of there. There we go. Can't wait to shake this down, but the butter is there, y'all. It is my homemade DIY. It is y'all my homemade DIY aloe vera whipped butter. Whip aloe vera butter. <laughs> I will be trying this, y'all, and I will be using this um, in my next. Um, tutorial and pretty much that's going to be um, my wash day routine when I take out my textured locks that I've had in for a while now. I'm going to be using this along with my rice water. I'm going to be using both of these two together to make the perfect combo for Okay. Till next time on Wash Day. Stay blessed.